follows the same path when he goes cruising through the bayou. Doesn't want anything to happen to his beloved Delphine. <laughs> Gonna lease to his problems. You read on the area? There's an old coal dumper that they have to sail past. I've already got it rigged to blow. You just need to connect the primer cord to each block and then set it off. Detonator's down by your feet. All right. Isolate and kill. Lincoln Clay specialty. What's wrong? Eh, it's the boat thing, isn't it? Not saying it is, not saying it ain't. <laughs> you need to get over it. You were on what, 40, 45 PBR in country? 52. That's not the point. You don't know what it's like to get onto a boat knowing full well the damn thing's gonna sink. It gets old, man. Look, you blow the coal dumper. Boom! It hits the boat. Then you jump on board and kill Lou and those other assholes. 50-50, you don't even get wet. 50-50? Well, 46... I'm the detonate. Explode. Cause the boat to crash. What the fuck? Upstairs. You'll fan out. Watch the rest of the boat. This sure shit wasn't an accident. First time we see Lou. Now we gotta attack the guys on there, kill them, and kill Lou. Get Tom Lou here. Without getting eaten by crocodiles. Call him over here. Ha <laughs> ha! 
grenade. We want to die here. Come on, buddy. Got you. Shoot. Which is my rifle? Got him. On the ladder. You wop asshole! What the fuck, Lou? Take another step, me bitch. Can you think I give a shit about some politicians? Please, please, I, I don't even know what's going on. Time to die, Lou. I don't want your money. I want you to send a message to your brother. Yep. Anything. Oh, just say it. You just say it. <laughs> Lord Almighty. Kill him and die him right to the statue. Walter Jacobs was killed this evening in a fiery explosion aboard a riverboat. Local businessman Louis Marcano also lost his life, along with dozens of other wealthy donors there to attend a political fundraiser. When Lincoln left his gutted body on a statue commemorating Andrew Jackson, people were horrified. 
I mean, how could that be anything but a political statement? Lincoln once told me he couldn't tell any other cheek that the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Passion is a sign of weakness, but greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt, while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or Bobby Kennedy. But there's always gonna be another Sal McConnell, another Sammy Robinson, another Lincoln Clay. We are a cruel and wicked people. Guess this is where we find which direction you and I are headed. This is your final chance to make things right between us, brother. Securing a future where we're working together to help our people. And it starts with you giving me this territory. The city's now under our control. And Cassandra, I know our partnership has been in a bit of freefall lately, but I'm hopeful we can work this out. Still, I need to hear from everyone. I didn't call you to lock this shit down. That was your request. I'm sorry Cassandra's pissed, but I'm not here to do the work and just hand it to someone else on a silver fucking platter. I expect it to stay with me. Piss off as many folks loyal to you as possible? Is that your plan? In what world does that make any goddamn sense? You do what's right. You got no idea how long I've been treating this. I value our partnership, Cassandra, but I hope you understand. I gotta go with Vito on this. Thanks, kid. Spent most of my life getting fucked by one asshole or another. And what we got going here is a real future. Ain't no one fucking with us anytime soon. Kinda thought I'd be gay to shit by now. So anything shy of that, and I'm good. Fuck. Fuck. You know how long I've been waiting for someone to stand up and be a man of his word? And in all my fucking days, you, Lincoln Clay, are the first motherfucker to do it. Thank you. You've done a hell of a job, Lincoln. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Probably. Not one goddamn step of this has been easy. But we've made it through. And there's not a cocksucker left in this town who don't know we rule the streets. I don't have much to show for this shit. But goddammit, if making money and being alive ain't a hell of a lot sweeter than being at the bottom of the bayou. We're living proof that the ways of Marcano, the lying, the backstabbing, the cheating, don't need to run in that direction. Those ways are as dead as he is. Well, that was pretty much the last district I gave out.